What are some fucked up movies to watch? Falling down, Michael Douglas is a regular guy, he has a bad day, he loses it a little bit, totally understandable, and the universe just keeps pushing him in. And it's amazing. Early Douglas is really good, the movie is written well, it's utterly relatable and human, you're rooting for the guy the whole way through, cause he's all of us. It's also fucked up. But like. More showing how everything is fucked up, and some weird scientist sewing people together fucked up. Really good movie. Tusk. That movie really fucked with me when I saw it. More so that the main character was still alive in the end, after everything that was done to him. The premise of Tusk is so silly I can't find it at all disturbing. Agree, even the considerable body horror was swamped by the absurdity of the, the central premise. Any more subtle elements are just lost. Tusk is weird because it's a parody of the human centipede that manages to be way more messed up and disturbing than the movie it's spoofing. I have to agree, I hated that movie and I was afraid to even watch it. Kevin Smith movies started getting pretty shite after Red State. And that Johnny Depp character, I really could not give a flying fuck for. Jay and Silent Reboot wasn't great either, a few good scenes but I really hate the overuse that's my daughter. Sequels. Graveyard of the Fireflies. The most beautifully fucked up movie that I'll never watch again. It made Requiem for a Dream seem like a PG rated movie. This is one of those rare movies that I recommend everybody see once. Once, and only once. I don't think my heart can take watching it again. Truly a masterpiece. Imprint, 2006, by legendary J-horror director Takashi Mike. It is one of the most disturbing movies I've ever seen. It was part of a Showtime horror miniseries called Masters of Horror, which was a show that challenged famous directors to make the most terrifying film they could with a budget of $1,000. Takashi was offered this challenge by the show's director, Mick Garris, and responded with, You won't be disappointed. What was created was an episode that was so disturbing, Garris, the producers and Showtime banned it from airing on television despite being lined up for the season finale. To put in perspective, the show does not shy away from disturbing, gory or unpleasant footage and the only other episode that was even edited for television was an episode called Jennifer. So, let's consider a few key things that made this episode a must-own movie for me. Contained scenes of torture, abortion, abuse, rape, ghosts, murder, demons and murder. Story continuously subverts expectations by lying and betraying the audience, so that each retelling of the story grows darker and more hellish until the climax. All this happens in only the course of an hour. Martyrs, the original, not the American remake, is a pretty solid fucked up movie. It's one of those films that traumatizes you and stays in your head for days. The Holy Mountain If you have any religious background or faith, this will push your boundaries. But if you can see past it to the whole, and get the purpose it's actually beneficial for you emo. Pretty sure they burned down the theater it debuted in, that or El Topo, but regardless the movie ended up being banned for a long time. I really like Thursday, Thomas Jane, Aaron Eckhart, Mickey Rourke, Aaron Jeter, Glenn Plummer, Paula Marshall, lots of faces you'll recognize from before they were well known. It's the story of a retired drug dealer who's gone straight laced and suburban nice, but his old partner from the past shows up and visits, and a ton of trouble follows. And it's fucking hilarious and well written. It has drugs, brutal murders, a guy getting raped, beating people to death, almost torture, more drugs, corruption, etc., etc., etc. I mean it's like they had a checklist of bad shit you don't want to see and went down the entire list, except somehow it's very entertaining, almost lighthearted, and kind of a feel-good movie. I love it. Hard to get a copy of it, but absolutely worth seeing if you get a chance, if nothing else, Thomas Jane is great and the direction and what they pull off with a low budget is really impressive. Not to mention, little details are really worth it in it too, they cared enough to really put in some effort all the way through. I would show it to anyone without hesitation, because it's good, except that it's just fucked up enough people may look at you different afterward. Time Crimes One hour back in time, that shouldn't cause everything to go horribly wrong, or make pink head wraps freaky, but. This movie delivers and is kinda fun too, like, it's fucked up, but you totally, mostly, can follow along and it makes sense and if it happened to you. Worth a watch. Especially if you like time travel anyway. Basically anything by Ralph Bakshi. 
heavy metal is a good one, Fritz the cat is wild, heavy traffic has a vibe that's just. If you want to be depressed there's always plague dogs, threads, or where the wind blows. If you want to completely uncensored depictions of the Nazi Holocaust and their advance on Russia then come and see will leave you scared for life. It's honestly worse and more horrifying than some of the stuff I stumbled across on LiveLeak in my my teens. Room. 2015. It's such a great movie that I never want to watch again. Brie Larson is fucking amazing in it. It's well acted, but the whole concept is so fucked up. Schindler List, though I do watch it many times, it's still fucked up to know this shit actually happened. Small apartments. It's not fucked up because it's gross or anything. It's fucked up in a really funny way and all the characters in it are damaged people. It's really odd. But it's just funny and silly and sad too. If you want a fucked up movie that's really disturbing then I'd say check out. Violence Voyager. A Japanese film made for the most part by a single animator. It's filmed using a mix of sets and paper cutout type dolls as well as stop motion and special and practical effects. It has an English dub that I thought was pretty good. It's a trip of a movie. Really violent and rather disturbing. It's kind of hard to describe. But it's totally unique. Redemption? I watched it during my religious studies class and I literally gasped out so loud when that grandmother was on top of the police officer. My teacher caught us watching it and we had to leave that class X. There's an animated movie I saw recently called Violence Voyager. It's listed as anime but the animation is literally cardboard cutouts on a hand-painted backdrop and the movie itself lives up to its name but a lot of stuff in the movie is very disturbing. Toy Story. I love Toy Story. But if you really sit to think on it, it's pretty dark. For example, Toy Story 1, after Sid was hurting and torturing Woody, Woody screamed in pain, implying that the toys can feel pain, even in Andy mode. Meaning that, all the toys Sid hurt, had to sit still in pain, while smiling and holding in their screams. This includes the toys he broke apart to put together. Here we go, this films are weird but still fun to watch with friends. Immortal Ad Vitam is a futuristic mystery movie with aliens and cyber stuff, really fun but definitely weird. Mutant Girl Squad is a really fucked up film, but I'll be honest, all the films of this list are still enjoyable, just very weird. Anyway, it's about girls and weaponized chainsaw tits. For the love of God watch Kung Fu Hustle, that's the greatest film ever made. Watch it first, maybe even now. Ricky oh it's a very stupid one, my least favorite from this list, but I guess you asked for fucked up and I wanted to write fucked up but watchables. Hereditary. It's not a movie that will make you want to throw up but it's a movie that is so psychological damaging. Two spoilers ahead. In one part the mom finds ants and she follows them to see them all over her son and she's terrified but then we hear the son ask what she's doing. The camera looks back at him to show he's fine but then the mom admits she didn't want him. She tried to have a miscarriage but she says she's happy it didn't work and while he is crying they're suddenly covered in paint thinker and a fire starts. But then she wakes up in her bed. It's so good that you're still not sure if you're just in another dream or not. In another scene the son is driving home while his sister is hanging her head out the window cause she can't breath. And then she suddenly slams into a pole decapitating her. I think it was kind of obvious she was going to hit something and die but the way they did it was so sudden. There was no indication that she was about to be decapitated but then it just happened. It's so sudden and is executed perfectly. This movie is just a physiological fuck up. American History X, and The Boy in Stripped Pajamas. Really tame considering other titles, but the real scary part is the fact that it is or was real. It's depressing. Sad. 127 Hours, I think it's called. A climber slash walker gets his arm jammed under a giant rock walking by himself in the middle of nowhere, his only option to cut his own arm off over a period of hours with a pen knife. Based on a true story. Jacob's Ladder freaked me out as a child and I still find it an unsettling movie. The Mechanic and The Woman are equally disturbing films though the latter has a lot of unpleasant themes. Of all my treasured memories of fucked up films I've gathered, I'll go with Neon Demon. Starring Al Fanning, and John. Wick about a little girl who moves to Hollywood to pursue the fashion world, but they're all fucking batshit insane. A good representation of the toxicity in the fashion world, and then ends in the worst possible way your poor innocent brain could ever fathom. A Scanner Darkly. This movie is completely disjointed, and really seems like it is intentionally not supposed to make sense. When trying to describe it to other people, 
I said it's like if heroin addicts made a documentary from their perspective. Apocalypse Now. All sorts of dark imagery, the real mindfuck that was the Vietnam War for many Americans, and the scene where the water buffalo is slaughtered, is a real water buffalo. Also when you consider the fact, that Saigon had only fallen five years, prior to the moving being released the conflict, was still very much in recent history for those in the US. Cannibal Holocaust. Was banned in multiple countries, at the time of its release, because of the extreme violence, including the killing of real sea turtles, and other animals on screen. Not to mention the rape scenes, where women are assaulted with jagged rocks, watched it over a decade ago and it still haunts me.